Hey learners, hope you all are doing well. I am sure you all are taking care of yourselves. Let's start with our Vedic Math series without wasting time. I am sure you all are excited to learn different Vedic Math techniques. So stay tuned till the end. In the last session, we discussed about what is Vedic Mathematics and its benefits. Now in today's session, we'll start with one very elementary Vedic Math trick. Before starting, in the last session, I told you, entire Vedic Maths is based on 16 Sutras and 13 Sub-Sutras. The entire Vedic Maths is based on this 16 Sutras and 13 Sub-Sutras. But still, we'll categorize it into two main categories, that is specific technique and general technique. So the two methods are the specific technique and the general technique. Now specific technique is applicable for some specific combination of numbers. I hope you are understanding what I want to say. Specific technique applicable for some specific type of combination of numbers. But it is fast. But the scope is limited. I hope you are understanding. Clear? So it is faster. It is applicable for some specific combination of numbers. Whereas general technique is applicable for any combination of numbers. There is no such limitation on the combination of numbers that for this particular combination of number only this technique is applicable such limitation is not there in general method and therefore the application area is very wide therefore the scope is wide any combination of numbers and the scope is wider one small example specific is like finding square of a number ending with 5. Whereas one example of general technique is multiplication of any two numbers using crisscross method. I hope you will remember this because we are going to see this in our subsequent series. Now let's move on to the first method that is squaring of numbers ending with 5. Obviously, it is coming under specific technique because here the number limitation, that is, it is applicable only to those numbers which end with 5. But before telling you the Vedic math trick of finding square of numbers ending with 5, let's discuss what do you mean by squaring. So, squaring of a number means multiplying a number with itself. So, squaring is multiplying a number by itself itself for example if some numbers given are 5 6 7 so what is multiplication of 5 with itself that is 25 6 with 6 36 7 into 7 49 that will become square of 5 6 7 i hope you are understanding the examples now we'll see how to find square of numbers ending with 5 using our vedic math trick but before telling you the Vedic math trick, let's discuss the conventional method which we were taught in school. That is multiplying 65 with 65. Because we want to find square of 65. So we'll multiply 65 with 65. What was the traditional method? First multiply 5 with 5. You'll get 25. You'll put 5 here, carry 2. Then you'll multiply 5 with 6. That is 30. And that carry 2 becomes 32. So here I'll write 3, 2, 5. I hope you are understanding. Now the next row, here we'll put 0. Then we'll multiply 6 with 5. Now 6 into 5 is 30. I'll write 0 here and carry 3. 6 into 6, 36 and carry 3 becomes 39. I'll write 
three nine. I am I'm, I'm assuming you are getting at what I want to say. And if you are having any doubt, please comment in the comment box. Now next, what we have to do, you have to add this two row in the corresponding column. Now I'll add five with zero. I'll get five. Two with zero. Two. Three with nine. Twelve. Two. I'll keep and then one carry. And one plus three. Four. The so four thousand two hundred twenty-five is the answer. Now I hope by seeing this technique, you might have realized it is taking more time, isn't it? Yes. Let's see Vedic math trick. Now, before telling you the trick, I'll tell you the, the sutra which we are going to follow. The name of the sutra is Ekadikena Purvena. Now, what is Ekadikena Purvena? English translation, I'll tell you. One more than the previous or one more than the before. By one more than the one before. Clear? Now, we'll see the Vedic trick. That is finding 65 square. Now note that this answer according to Vedic trick will be made up of two parts. Now how to find out first part. Okay. Now whatever is before 5. Take its next digit. That is what Ekadikena Purvena. Okay. So what is coming before 5? 6. Now what is after 6? 7. Now multiply 6 with 7. What you get? 42. And 42 is going to be the first part of your answer. And remember the second part is always going to be 5 square. And I hope you should know 5 square. That is 5 square is 25. So always the second part is going to be 25. Is it clear to you? Okay. So what was the first part? Take the digit which is before 5. That is 6. Multiply it with its consecutive digit. That is 7. We'll get 6 into 7, 42. And the second part is always 5 square. That is 25. And when you combine it, we get the answer. So 65 square is 4225. Isn't it easy? Yes. Let's see one more example. That is 75 square. Now I hope you have understood Vedic trick. That is Ekadikena Purvena. One more than the previous. Okay. Now tell me what will be the first part. What is coming before 5? That is 7. Now what is the subsequent digit of 7? That is what comes after 7? 8. Multiply 7 with 8. What is 7 into 8? 56. That is your first part. And what is the second part? Square of 5. Now 5 square is 25. Combine this both number. That is your answer. Isn't it easy? Yes. One more for your practice. We'll take 95 square. Now according to Vedic trick. What is coming before 5? 9. Now multiply 9 with its consecutive digit. That is 10. So 9 into 10 is 90. And what is 5 square? 25. Combine this both, you'll get 9025. That is your answer. I hope it is clear to you. Let's practice one more example. That is find square of 105. According to Vedic trick, tell me what is before 5? 10. Is it clear to you? What comes after 10? 11. Now 10 into 11. What is 10 into 11? 110. And what is 5 square? 25. Combine this both. That is your answer. Is it clear to you? Okay. So 105 square is 11025. Quite easy. Now here we multiply 10 with 11. Now in some subsequent series we are going to see how to find multiplication of a number with 11 there is one vedic trick for that also one more 15 square tell me fast now what comes before 5 15 square before 5 is 1 
Now what is after 1? 2. 1 into 2? Two? 2. And 5 square is 25. That easy it is. 25 square. Tell me what is after 2? 3. 2 into 3? 6. And attach with it 5 square that is 25. Clear? Okay. Coming to 3, 35 square. Now what is coming after 3? 4. 3 into 4? 12. So our first part is 12 and the second part is 25. Clear? Coming to 45 square. Now what comes after 4? 5. 4 into 5? 20. The first part is 20 and the second part is 25. Combine it. Coming to 55 square. Now what is before 5? 5. But what comes after 5? 6. 5 into 6? 30. First part is 30 and the second part is 25. Join it. 3025. Coming to 85 square. Now can you tell me what comes after 8? 9. 8 into 9? 72. Join it with 25. Now coming to 115 square. Now tell me what comes after 11? 12. 11 into 12 is 132. And join it with 25. Quite easy. Coming to 205 square. Now can you tell me what comes after 20? 20, 21. Right? Now 20 into 21 is 420. And join it with 25. That simple it is. Is it clear to you? Just to wind up, what we have to do is, whenever we want to find square of a number ending with 5, it will have two parts. The first part will contain multiplication of a number which is coming before 5 with its consecutive digit. And the second part will be always square of 5, that is 25. I hope you have understood. Any doubt, please comment in the comment box. See you in the next session with one more Vedic Match trick. Till then, keep learning, keep evolving. Thank you. God bless you.